Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Are you looking to add an extra layer of privacy to your Snapchat account? iOS 18 offers an app lock feature that prevents unauthorized access to your personal content. In this video, I will show you how to lock Snapchat on your iPhone using Face ID to keep your personal photos, videos, and messages private from others who might have access to your device. Let's go! If Face ID is already configured on your device, you can proceed to the next steps outlined in the following timestamp. Otherwise, you'll need to set it up first. To do so, go to Settings. Select Face ID and Passcode and verify your access by entering your device passcode. Then click Set up Face ID and tap Get Started to begin the process. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Face ID setup. To begin, locate the app you want to lock, which can be found on your home screen or in the app library. Press and hold the app icon and select Require Face ID from the Quick Actions menu. Confirm your choice by selecting Require Face ID again and authenticate the action using Face ID. Repeat these steps for any other apps you wish to protect with Face ID. Keep in mind that pre-installed iPhone apps like Calculator, Camera, Clock, Contacts, Find My, Maps, Shortcuts, and Settings cannot be locked. Locking apps safeguards your data by preventing it from appearing in notifications, search results, Siri suggestions, or call history. It's important to note that locking an app is specific to your current device, and the locked status does not sync with iCloud. Note that locked apps will still appear on your home screen, in Spotlight Search, or in the app library. However, if you've hidden them, there are two methods to locate these apps on your iPhone, which is through the app library or settings. In the app library, scroll to the bottom. Tap the hidden folder and authenticate with Face ID to reveal the apps. Alternatively, in settings, navigate to the apps page and access the hidden apps menu. Enter your Face ID to view the complete list of apps you've hidden. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.